Yo, what's going on? It's your man, DBZ from the Poster Boys, Elephant Man Podcast Network, Grown Man Conversation, dealing with elephants in the room. It's been a while. Uh, I want to continue on um, talking about CERN. Um, I want to get into it more. Some people ask me about CERN. I want to just get into CERN. Uh, CERN is a, um, a, let's go back to the top. I, I don't want to go too much into what CERN is, but I'm going to get the definition. Um, so what is CERN? CERN is a European organization for nuclear research founded in 1958 in Geneva, Switzerland, and uh, St. Pauli, Switzerland. Uh, Pauli comes from the Latin word apollicum, uh, in honor of Apollo. Okay, so this is a play, this is a. Um, uh, I don't want to go to cover too much uh, uh, ground from the last video, but it is a. Uh, they're trying to get a um, God particle. They're trying to. Uh, uh, collide matter and antimatter together uh, and try to create what they believe with the Big Bang, what happened with the Big Bang Theory, you know. Um, so let's go to this. It said the statue outside of the CERN headquarters um, is Shiva. And Shiva is the goddess of destruction, right? It's a part of the Hindu trinity. Shiva is the goddess of destruction. As you can see, this ring right here is a, a portal, right? And people of India gave uh, CERN headquarters this statue. Now, it's kind of weird that this statue, the statue of the goddess of destruction, is on the outside of the CERN headquarters. Um, here's another picture, Shiva, the Hindu goddess of destruction. Um, okay, Apollyon means destroyer, and Abaddon is the king of the army of the locusts. The angel of death, Greek translation, also is a destroyer. So the beast who descends from the abyss is Shiva slash Apollyon slash Abaddon. Demons are attracted to anti-matter. We're going to get into Revelations 9 in a minute, but this is what CERN looks like underground in Switzerland. It is buried 575 feet underground, and it is the most expensive machine. It costs $9 billion dollars. And it's up to 17 miles long, right? So what they're doing is they're shooting. It takes a while to get this machine up and running, but they're shooting particles uh, at the speed of light to pierce uh, uh, matter and try to go into another dimension, okay? Um, let's see. But th there were some problems with it. Um, let's see. Stephen Hawking, the late Stephen Hawking, uh, was a scientist. And he had a concern about um, uh, he had a concern about CERN. Um, he believed that uh, the God particle they call it CERN the God particle. The God particle could destroy uh, the the universe. He also believed that it could trigger a, cat a cat catastrophic vacuum. Oh, spell vacuum wrong. Sorry, catastrophic vacuum decay, which could cause time to collapse. Right. Um, another professor. Uh, Professor Otto Rossler, he actually filed a, raw, a lawsuit against CERN on the grounds that the facility could trigger a mini black hole and could annihilate the planet. So it's a lot of top scientists and professors and physicists that are saying that they shouldn't uh, tamper with this machine um, and try to open up another dimension or another portal. Um, they don't really know what's on the other side of this portal. I don't know why they would even experiment to do that, right? But when they took it to the European Court of Human Rights, they tossed it out. Hmm. So the people that's behind this CERN machine are very powerful and influential people. Um, so they just threw it out of the court, right? All right. So also, many scientists also believe that CERN could open the door to another dimension, right? They don't even know what's on the other side of that dimension. But this is so crazy and so interesting. A lot of people don't believe the Bible. I believe that the Bible is the inspired word of God. Um, he gives his word to his end time prophets, and then they scribe it and write it down, right? Um, so um, John the Revelator, he wrote the book of Revelation. And Revelation chapter 9 talked about many things that was going to happen in the end time. So let's look at this. Uh, to me... It looks like this may parallel to Revelation chapter 9, uh, verse 9. 
But here it is. It said, uh, and the fifth angel sounded, and I, and I saw a star fall from heaven, and it was given to him the key to the bottomless pit. So we know that uh, before the Lord returns, there's going to be many different things on the on our planet. Uh, I know we always uh, hear about destruction, doom and gloom and stuff like that. But um, he's going to come back. Um, Yeshua is going to come back and set up his kingdom and his throne. Now, look at this. Apollyacum was the, is the name of the city. So, so I'm going to read it again. CERN is a European organization for nuclear research founded in 1954 in Geneva, Switzerland, and St. Genus Apollium, Switzerland. Apollium comes from the Latin word Apollicum, in honor of Apollo. Okay, so look in the Bible, it says, verse 10, uh, Revelation 9, verse 10, and they had tails like a scorpion that were given stings in their tails and the power to hurt men five months, verse 11. And they had king. They had a king over them, which is the angel to the bottom of his pit, uh, whose name in the Hebrew tongue it's Abaddon, and in the Greek tongue, it is Apollyon. So it's kind of interesting that this statue is the statue of Shiva. She is the goddess of destruction. She's standing in front of a portal, like right here. It's also interesting that CERN is trying to pierce and open up another portal in another dimension, right? It's also interesting that the city that part of the city that uh, CERN is built upon is called Apollyacum, right? An honor of Apollo, right? Or Apollyon, right? And that's a lot of different um, uh, coincidences, if you, or coincidence, if you want to say that. But I, I don't believe it's a coincidence. This may be one of a few portals that might be opened up uh, in the end time and let the, let the enemy, enemy come in, right? Um, so I'm going to read. He opened the, the, opened the bottomless pit, and there rose smoke out of the pit. This is uh, Revelation chapter 9, verses 2 through 9. Uh, he opened the bottomless pit, and there rose smoke out of the pit, and the smoke of a great furnace. And the sun and the air were darkened by reason of smoke of the pit. And there came out of smoke locusts upon the earth, and unto them was given the power as a scorpion, uh, power as the scorpions of uh, the earth to have power. And it was commanded that they should not hurt the grass or the earth, neither any green thing, any, uh, neither any tree, but only those men which have not the seal of God in their foreheads. To them it was given that they should not kill them, but that they should torment five months. And the torment was was the torment of scorpions when the, when he struck at the man. So this torment that they were going to be fitting looked like the same torment as when a scorpion strikes a man. And in those days shall men seek death and shall not find it, and shall desire to die, and death shall flee from them. So these people are going to be like, man, put me out of my misery. I want to die. And, God, and the angel of death is going to flee from them. He's not, he's not going to let them die, right? And the shape of the locusts were like horses prepared in the battle, and on their heads were crowns of gold, and their faces are like the faces of many men, right? And it just goes on to describe, um, read chapter 9 of Revelation. And it goes on to describe uh, the scorpion-looking uh, creatures um, that's, that, that, that's going to uh, come from the bottomless pit. This could be one of those places that the portals that open up, right? Um, let's see. So Abaddon equals Apollyon equals Destroyer. Are we on our way to opening up a we as in a human race? Uh, them as in the scientists and researchers trying to create the God particle and 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 control matter and antimatter and we're touching and messing with things that we don't know nothing about, right? And so I just believe that we got to be careful. You know what I'm saying? We got to pray for our not only our country but our world. You know what I mean? Because uh, uh, men love the darkness and they don't love the light. They don't love the light of Yeshua. Messiah, you know, and so we got to make sure that we in right standards with Messiah. I'm not bringing fear. I'm not bringing doom and gloom, but I just said that this, these are some parallels that's pretty interesting with the uh, CERN in Switzerland. You don't believe me? Uh, go ahead and look it up. C-E-R-N, CERN. Um, like, subscribe, share. It's your man DB. 
Uh, let's see if we got any more. No, that's it. Like, subscribe, share with somebody else. Um, again, in order to get um, the information, this is the part two. Go back, find the first one, and then it'll help you understand where we're coming up with this. And it talked about uh, the Hindu trinity uh, and all of that different stuff like that. But it's very, very interesting. And I believe that we are we at the end of the book, and he's going to wrap it up real soon. So um, we got to make sure we have right standards with him. All right? Holla at your boy, Juan. Perfect.